Hello, welcome to the Electrical Engineering class. Today I want to share some important concept of designing electrical devices like circuit breaker. Short circuit current rating versus available port current. So put on your thinking cap and let's get started. Um, short circuit current rating, SCCR. It's an equipment rating as known as interrupting capacity or interrupting duty for some devices. Uh, this rating is the ability of equipment to withstand high levels of the current that will flow as port current, especially for short circuit. So each equipment must be able to safety withstand um, this maximum port current without suffering and experiencing some damage like shock or fire hazard. On the other hand, Available port current is not an equipment rating, but uh, the amount of objectionable current that will flow at any point of our system as port. So SCCR should not rest than the available, it is maximum available port current. This concept is to eliminate downtime and increase worker safety. It must be taken into account when an engineer analyzes any power system. Okay, so let's think um, practical calculation. Okay, so let's think this power system. Uh, there is a load induction motor and uh, the capacity is 10 kilowatt and 0 0.8 power factor. So let's calculate the uh, rated load current. So Uh, from this equation, um, 10 kilowatt, and uh, the secondary side is 480 volt and 0.8 per factor. So I is equal to um, Um, 36 here approximately that mean uh, the protection devices like you know breaker over the relay should be selected as appropriate rating that related to this uh, maximum load current so maybe a breakers 3 pump here is 50 ampere for example and overall the relay setting value is you know just up to 6 ampere or a little, little bit lower or a little bit higher and uh, a lot of our current of the cable should be greater than 50 ampere because this is protection devices So cable um, needed to protect from um, some damage. So should be greater than 50 MP. So if um, short circuit occur here, um, what will happen? You know, there are no load anymore. There are only um, impedances like cable uh, or busway or transformer and so on. And the impedance of these devices is quite small because they are you know, conducting devices. Um, they are designed to not disturb the flow of the current. Uh, that is why um, short circuit current is uh, much greater than the normal load current. Okay, so uh, let's uh, draw some representative um, circuit of this schematic. I mean, um, AC power source and 
um, sourcing appearance. You know, this the source has the appearance too, same as um, other devices. Um, actually, it's quite small, but still they have. So we need to um, confirm it uh, by contacting power um, distributor, I mean, power industrial company. And um, there is a, a transformer impedance. And bus way and cable and short circuit. All right. Uh, by the way, um we need to consider about the uh, rotating inertial these induction motors. Uh, you know, the moment short circuit is happening, um, induction motors um, could be kind of um, temporary generator that contribute to increase uh, um, short circuit current. So we need to add um, this contributing current to the total um, short circuit current. Okay. So, okay. Uh, in this schematic, uh, we we have two different ways to calculate the percent impedance. Uh, sorry, short circuit current, um, especially three phase short circuit current. Um, the first, first, first way is Ohm's law. Right, Ohm's law. And the second way is percent impedance method. Okay, and uh, okay. Let me um, convert this. Schematic to uh, okay. I convert. Um, some different style of um, the circuit. And think about the Ohm's law first. Uh, okay, in this cross pass, uh, the IS short circuit current is represented like okay, like so. It seems so simple, but um, what exactly this voltage and the body of the appearance? I mean, you know, it's confusing because they are a transformer, so the primary side and secondary side is uh, not the same voltage, and the apparent value of these impedances. Uh, vary depending on the you know difference voltage, so it will change the uh, whether respect to primary side or respect to um, secondary side. And in a practical power system, there are huge amount of transformer. That means uh, we need to convert every single impedance. Um, to just one reference voltage, it's it's lot of work. You know, it takes time and effort. So, I don't recommend Ohm's rule. Okay. 
Um, so how about person TP runs method? In this method, um, doesn't matter the uh, voltage difference um, in each stage. I mean, just apply to this formula. Short circuit current is going to equal to the base current divided by uh, total percent appearance and uh, the base current is also uh, represents like uh, base capacity Of this uh, power system over square root three uh, times baseline voltage. Okay, line voltage. Uh, the baseline voltage is the voltage uh, the point of short circuit occurred. So in this case, four hundred. 18 volt. So the base capacity is arbitrary, you know, it's up to you. You can select it. And once you uh, set this base capacity, uh, no matter how many transformers you have, uh, you don't need to convert each one. You know, just apply this formula. Um, you know, it's so easy, right? Um, so, okay, um, I want to explain uh, more details of um, this dedicated lecture of the person TP method method um, another time. It's very, very important concept, concept we should know. So, okay, let me stop explaining here. Method. Okay, so let's assume the short circuit current is 20 kA, for example, and uh, the breaker's SCCR is um, only 10, 10 kA. Okay, what will happen? So maybe uh, this breaker can't withstand uh, this short circuit current because um, 20 kA is greater than this SCCR 10 kA. So um, this breaker can't uh, distinguish the arc crush and don't interrupt uh, this huge amount of current. So maybe uh, this cable um, meltdown or burn up or something catastrophe will happen and so um, or uh, just um, above circuit breaker will trip will trip and this whole section will be power outage it's also kind of big deal Right, so that is why um, this equipment SCCR should be greater than this uh, maximum for the current twenty kilo here. All right, so um, let me summarize the procedure of designing SCCR. Uh, step one: calculate the available port current at the point where installing devices. And in most of the case, the maximum available hot current is a three phase short circuit. And step two, select if devices which SCCR are greater than the available hot current. 
that derived as step one. All right, so uh, finally, um, let us um, calculate um, some practical problem. Uh, let's calculate of this power system. Uh, okay, remember step one, um, available port current, um, three phase short circuit. S and uh, we are given H values of um, each devices, like here. Uh, basically, um, impedance or percent impedance uh, values um, are referred to you know, specification of manufacture or some um, international core or standard of your country or state. Um, and don't forget, uh, set the base capacity. It's very, very important. Okay, I will choose um, 1000 kVA as my base capacity. Sorry. Given um, the capacity, the short circuit capacity, and the ratio of um, reactance and the resistance. So, the percent impedance is um, that S. Base capacity uh, divided by um, actual um, short circuit capacity, so is thousand kVA over um, thousand mVA and. Uh, this is percent, so times 100, okay, that is um, 0.1. So, and from this ratio, um, the S is represented to, represented as 0.0. .0 Zero o plus j zero point zero nine nine uh, nine percent. All right, and okay, the percent impedance of uh, transformer. Uh, we are given like so. So. Okay, in this, um, this transformer is uh, 1,100 kVA, so the percent impedance, um, the value represents to this, the original uh, kVA, um, okay, let's say, percent Impedance transformer is zero point eight three three plus J five point three six six. But uh, just as mentioned, this is um, respect to thousand hundred kVA, so we need to convert to 
respect to base capacity, so okay, thousand hundred thousand. This is um, zero point five five six plus J three point five seven seven percent, right? Okay, so how about um, the cable, cable impedance? Um, okay, just apply some formula. Yes, I perform your the appearance cable percent impedance of cable is base capacity and uh, the baseline voltage. The number of cable and the appearance of resistance and reactance times uh, length of here hundred meter and uh, percent so hundred. Okay. Okay, just apply each value so it's almost zero point two six one cross J uh, zero point two um, three eight percent. All right. And uh as I mentioned, um, these induction motors um, could be kind of temporary generators, so um, we need to calculate the um, construction, construction current. So let's say here. Um, okay, from these guys, the uh, person appears of uh, induction motors is three point. Four to five plus J twenty point five five percent, and the sh this um, contributing short circuit current is um, of course. So just apply um, each various respect to the base capacity. And this is six point six uh, kilo ampere, right? So, okay, um, from these guys, uh, finally we calculate the, the total um, short circuit current. All right. Um, Uh, 
total person dependence just at all one. This is thirty-four point four zero pair. And um, don't forget to add this uh, rotating inertia. So plus I plus M. This is almost forty Q ampere. All right. So the available hot current is forty Q ampere. So the these devices like circuit breaker, um, something like that should be greater than uh, 40 kilo ampere SCR so like uh, 15 kilo ampere SCR or 65 or even 100 k kilo ampere it's up to you uh, but um, generally um, the higher SCR um, tend to um, more expensive and size also increase so um, engineer have to make an optimal design for each devices right so thank you for watching my video and see you next time